first phase of this project will be construction, and Micron is partnering with the local trade unions on a long-term labor agreement that establishes a framework for cooperation and stability over the long arc of this project. And I want to thank Greg Lansen, who represented all of the local trade unions, to forge this partnership with us. We are committed to ensuring the workforce remains diverse and, that, uh, and by offering people traditionally underrepresented in the construction trades the opportunity to benefit from this investment. We will also hold all of our suppliers to several important commitments to help build a responsible supply chain. This includes ensuring a significant portion of our eligible spend goes to minority and women owned businesses. Micron expects to start substantial hiring in the second half of the decade in line with our production ramp. We have jobs ranging from skilled trades who will maintain our equipment and facilities to engineers who will run our fabs and scientists that will keep us at the leading edge. We'll need people from all kinds of backgrounds, PhDs, masters, four-year degrees, two-year degrees, and those with non-traditional paths. We look forward to partnering with various local organizations to promote a wide range of opportunities for our veterans. All of these jobs together will have the gravity to keep top talent right here in Central New York. This MegaFab will be a world-class center of excellence for semiconductor manufacturing, and it represents a huge opportunity, not just for Micron, but for this entire region. And I am tremendously proud to be starting this journey together today to transform our company, this community, and the nation.